You would never guess that these three people who walked out of the prison gates were actually escaping from prison, and the guards passed by without being caught. Prison guards are not bought and paid for all responsible to tell you no they just use the key to open the door to get out only the key is made by themselves want to make a key in the prison first cover the lock with a piece of white paper then you use your finger to make the outline then outline it with a pen this will give you the shape of the lock hole next insert the rolled paper into the lock hole use a pen to hold the bottom of the paper and pull it out the crease on the paper is the length of the key the next step is the teeth of the key when the meal is opened the cellmate deliberately attracts the guards. He will take the opportunity to peek at the key. When playing ball, he took the opportunity to pick up the ball. In fact, he was also peeking. He would not miss any opportunity to look at the keys. It did take long, and with repeated comparisons from memory, he finally drew the perfect gear. The last thing was to make the key. With what? Prison inmates will be placed in the processing plant to do the work. Harry rolled the collected strips of wood in sandpaper, hidden in the bottom of the kettle. Then came the hardest part. At the end of each day's work, the guards would check the kettle. Knock, knock, knock. Pour some away. It was Harry's turn. He looked extra nervous. And pour it out. Knock, knock knock there was no sound of shaking this is because harry stuffed a rag into the kettle at night he finally got into action first he sawed out the groove with a saw blade then sandpaper to smooth grinding the outline of the key glued the sawed part precisely opened the lampshade slowly set the shape and bake it dry finally fine grinding out the tooth pattern that's it a perfect key comes out when it was done harry carefully inserted the key into the hole gently twisted as the gears cranked the lock opened with a click, but at this point he could not be happy, because each cell has two doors, and the outside one needs to be opened from the outside, but people are inside, how to open from the outside? Several people got together again to think of a solution. One of the inmates suggested, use two thin wires to tie the key through the lock hole, with the pull of the wire. It could be inserted from the outside, but the proposal was quickly rejected, because there was no way to turn the key. Being worried, when Harry looked up and saw a broom, the broom is in every room, and it was just the right length, so there was only one problem, that was how to turn it. That day, Harry, who was in the fabrication shop, saw the handwheel. He came up with a solution. Drill two holes in the board, drill one at the end of the broom, bolted it together and inserted the key on one side, thus a manual rocker is made. At night, in the corridor of the prison, a stick slowly sticks out of the window, slowly inserting the key into the lock hole. One turn, one more turn, the door opened. At this point the window patrol seemed to look this way. Harry, fearing detection, pressed down tightly, but a handshake, the key fell to the floor. Oh. No, if they are found, they'll be here for the rest of their lives. In a moment of desperation, he found the gum and chewed it. Then he glues the gum, which is well mixed with saliva, to the stick. Then he stuck the key. Yeah. Viscosity is not enough. Just sticky keys fell off again. One more time, he held his breath, little by little. He drew the stick back. What a thrill. Lying on the bed, his heart was beating out of his chest. The biggest problem was solved. Then the next thing was just a door. The 296th day in prison, Harry and his companions decided to take a chance. Over the course of several months, he made a total of 39 keys, but he did not know which one corresponds to which door. The door to the corridor was soon opened. Walked down the first floor. The fourth door was right in front of him. At the end of the corridor was a duty room. The guards are listening to loud music boom the key to this door is right too but then the music stops and the the guard comes out harry locked the door there was no time to run back fortunately he was prepared with a key to open the door to the utility room and hid inside the sound of the guard's footsteps were getting closer and closer the two men in the small space did not dare to breathe fortunately the light is dim, the guards didn't notice, turned around and went on his rounds, while the guards were unattended, Harry decided to keep trying, it was the third door on the countdown, he was lucky, it worked in one go, meanwhile, the, the guards were making their rounds to their cells, luckily, Harry had piled up the blankets in human form in advance, to fool the guards, but the door in front of them, they tried and failed to open it several times, there was no time left, patrol time was about to end, they had to withdraw, open the door, but also have to lock it again one by one. Just as they entered the utility room, footsteps of the guards stepped on their heads. But just then, 
The guards saw the beads of sweat they had left on the floor. The good thing is that although the guards were suspicious, but they didn't care. After the guards left, they went back to their cells. Early the next morning, the warden woke Harry up with a kick. It was after the assembly bell. He didn't hear it. The warden knew he must have been up all night to find out what he was up to. He went through the whole cell. All the keys were hidden by him. He hid all the keys, but only the one in the tooth jar. The warden asked him what it was for. Luckily, he was smart enough to put a picture of his parents on it. He finally got through. From that day on, Harry knew he had to get up to speed. 404 days in prison. He made 39 keys out of wood, 15 gates, and the last two. But they were stumped because they couldn't use the key for this door. The switch for the door was in the watch room. That day, Harry was out for a dental appointment. He saw a new watchtower being built outside the gate. Once it was built, they would not be able to get away. It was time to get moving. That night they were making their final preparations, but except for two inmates, no one else wanted to participate. The bell rang. The guards left at the end of their shift. Only one guard was left on duty, and a distant tower on patrol. The time has come. He opens the gate in a familiar way and let out two more companions. For this day, they had simulated too many times. Changing into their long-prepared civilian clothes, they quickly made their way downstairs. They hide in the utility room, waiting for the time difference between the patrol of prison guards. But what they didn't expect was that, today, the guards had a stomach bug. Just now they took away the leather plugs. Now, they are about to put it back. The sound of footsteps was approaching. What to do? At a critical moment, the cellmate upstairs opened the lampshade. He smashed the light bulb. This caused a short circuit in the wiring. There is no choice but to go upstairs to solve the problem. Harry pushed the door out. With the opening of the electric gates, now there was only one last one left. They were only one step away from success. It was a door they had never opened before. They tried the keys one by one. But until the last one, the door still didn't open. Harry said they had to go back and think about it. But the cellmate was not willing to do it. He decided to violently dismantle it. The sound of chiseling resonated through the corridor. Harry was in a hurry, like ants on a hot pan. One day he would be next to him to stop it. He would run down the corridor. They had no way back. Just then, the broken door frame revealed the latch. They put on their coats and hats and took one step at a time. They used the mirror to see where the patrol was on the high wall. Without being detected, turning on their heels, they walked out. That's what freedom smells like. Who would have thought that a prisoner would walk out of a prison in the open? Harry saw the captain of the prison, guards chatting on the side of the road. They were still undetected. The captain took off his uniform. He's a human being too. A couple of men ran along, through the woods, through the bridge. Finally they found the cab, with the money he had been hiding for over 400 days. Got into the car and headed for the border. And this side, the guards checked the room only to find it empty. With several people running to freedom, largest manhunt in South Africa's history came with it. This is a true story. The hero is an uncomplicated freedom fighter. He was arrested for opposing injustice. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison. After 404 days, he and his friend managed to escape from prison.